Roger, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, I mean, I know I got asked this, but yeah, you know, just saw guys walk out with crutches. Just, yeah. I know you kind of ran into them celebrating. And just, I mean, how bad did you feel after that, especially when you found out he had broken? Like, I mean, you had. I mean, I mean, like, like, I mean, after the hit, it was like I, I didn't realize who I hit until the coaches actually came down and sat down and told me who I hit. I, kind of, I, I felt like I messed up back because I was like, oh, they're gonna make me pay for the practice. But um, I don't know the, uh, I don't know how bad it was until he told us ourselves that like that like he he really like broke his leg and I was like man I really I really just messed him up like I didn't intentionally try to but like just thinking about it 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 it, it got to me but I was like hey you gotta keep going. From your perspective, how did the elevated platform feel for you and the players on Saturday? I mean. We're so used to, uh, like, you talking about Gus, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're so used to having him, I would say, on the sideline, like, cheering us on and everything. It just felt like he wasn't physically there having him walking around because I'm, I'm used to seeing him walking up and down the sideline, whether it's offense on the field or defense on the field. So kind of excluded him. What was it you saw on Saturday that um, uh, was the challenge uh, during that game that, that made, it a, made, it made it a tough game for you guys? And what are you going to take into practice to improve it this week? I would say... Defensively, it was tackling. We, we, we left a, uh, a lot of tackles out there. We missed a lot of them. That gave SMU explosive plays to get them to win. Offensively, I can't really speak much on it, but um, as a team, we just got to do better. What was Coach Williams' message to you guys after the game and then before practice yesterday? I would say after the game, Coach T. Will, he it was like, that, that wasn't our standard. But at the end of the day, we got to, we got to keep fighting because it's, it's never over. You got to keep fighting to the end. I mean, they always say next man up, and it's just every game something happens. Now Bryce and Armstrong is out for the year with an ACL. I mean, just one of many starters who have gone down. That really what it is. You just got to, you know, find find the next guy to step up and just kind of move on and, and, and persevere. Yeah, I mean, that's how football works. Man, man go down, next man up. I mean, well, for me, I wasn't supposed to be starting. It was supposed to be uh, Derek Gaines. But, you know, getting hurt, next man up, I had to step in. It is what it is. Bryson goes now. Next linebacker up, John Powell. He had a good game last week, and I mean, he gonna. I, I feel confident enough to put him in there. What have you seen from the other linebackers or the younger guys on defense? You know, that have impressed you or anything like that? Anyone standing out? I would say they either to prove themselves that they can fit into the defense and and step up to the to the competition that the coaches put on them. Uh, I know this is a you play on defense, Dylan Gabriel's obviously on offense, but Coach Hess said last night was the first time he's practiced, period, since he got hurt. Just how cool was that to see, to see him you know, maybe slowly start to make that comeback? I mean, it's a blessing to see him back because many players who, who go through injuries don't end up coming back, but it's a blessing to see him come back. I mean, seeing him work the whole week, throughout the weeks, I mean, over and over, even though he wasn't physically like into the practice, he was in the practice doing something to get himself better. You talked about next man up seizing the opportunity. How have you improved over the course of the season? I would say I've become more of a leader in, in some ways, but I need to improve. I would say the communication, my communication skills are average, but they need to be more than average for me to be successful and to help my defense. Where, where do you think you've grown the most just getting out there and playing? Because last year you didn't really play much outside of special teams, right? Um, so just getting in there and playing and, and playing almost every rep, I mean, where do you think you've grown the most? I will say my confidence has grown because last year when I first got out there, I wouldn't say I was scared, but I was really hesitant. I didn't know what I was doing. To me, it was just, I'm out here living the college experience as a college athlete. Now it's like this is a business and I need to, I, I need to make a living for myself after this. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks, 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 Th